My Funny Valentine is a lovely jazz ballad composed by Richard Rogers and arranged by Sam Nistico. It is a show tune from the 1937 Richard Rogers and Lorenzo Hart musical, Babes in Arms. My Funny Valentine soon became a popular jazz standard that appeared in over 1,300 albums and has been, has been performed by over 600 artists, such as Chet Baker, Duke Ellington, Frank Sinatra, and Alec Fitzgerald. This captivating piece features two of our best trumpeteers, Rachel Thomas and Claire Bates. Together they take turns leading our hearts and imagination to a place that can only be made possible by the melodious harmony that saturates this incredible piece. We look forward to experiencing my funny Valentine with you all.
The next song you are going to hear is called Blue Zet. It is written in 3-4 time by two Spearmans and arranged by David Wolfe. For this piece, we have four soloists, Kevin Amoreda on alto saxophone, Nassim on trombone, and Patrick on piano. Blue Zet was written in the early 60s, and the song was originally played on Thelemans' guitar while he whistled the melody. We have taken this piece to Lister and Qantas and are happy to play it for you tonight. Enjoy. Most improved junior musician, Patrick Sue, Kevin Lynn, Jerry Van, and Shaylin Lee.
Nation, Claire Bates. Outstanding senior musician goes to, this is not a surprise, is it? Margaret. The piece we'll be playing today is called The Chicken by Alfred James Ellis, arranged by Chris Berg. The song is an exciting, funky groove. This piece features three soloists, Haley on the electric bass, Margaret on the trombone, and Jerry on the organ. The song also includes various tempos, which is fun for us to play.
more awards. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, we're just going to um, take a minute or two to recognize um, grade 12s who have taken music from grade 8 to 12. Um, Um, when I call your name, grade 12s, um, actually, all grade 12s come up. That's if you're a grade 12, please come up. Come up, grade 12s. I know there's more than one. Now we know who went home early, Great Charles. <laughs> These are for Great Charles who have been, been with us for five years of commitment to our music program. First one is Matthew McLennan. Jack Stowe. Sarah Wong. Jack Chang. Jonathan Chi, Jennifer Lowe, and Grace Wong from orchestra, but she's not here, never mind. And Nancy from orchestra, who's not here. <laughs> program we had planned to have a special presentation from the grade 12s from choir but in the end um, there was a change of plans so we went into uh, what we're going to do is going to uh, hear a, one more uh, solo piece and this year as you know we were very successful in Whistler but we also took the choir and the orchestra into the Qantas Music Festival and this is kind of uh, funny and embarrassing at the same time uh, when uh, we were supposed to register uh, there's a category under 17, under 14, and over 17. And I said, well, we're under 17. And the, the people said, well, how many 14-year-olds do you have? So I had to go and count. Who's 14? Who's 15? Who's 13? And even who's 12? There were two 12-year-olds. I don't know what they're doing in high school. But anyway, uh, so uh, we added them up, and we had more... Uh, under 14s than over, but we still had over 14s. We, as I said, we had a lot of grade eights that came this year that were wonderful players. So they said, I said, please, I really think it would be better if we went in the under 17 category because what if we win something? People might think it's weird that we have some over 14s, but anyway, we did end up winning Most Promising Orchestra under 14 years old. <laughs> We also have uh, really important uh, awards to give. On the other night, we had all our bands play at the uh, school, and uh, we gave out citizenship awards to the students in the band program, and now we'd like to give out a citizenship awards to the students in the uh, choir, jazz band, and so on. And here they are. Zhao, so, Jack, I was kidding. Jack Zhao, Nassim, uh, that's right, and Richard Lai. And we have another award which actually is not from us. Uh oh, it's lost. Oh, not far. Okay. So when we were at the Kiwanis Festival, it's a really big festival, as many of you know. Some of you maybe went into it when you were younger on piano and and all these things your parents made you do. And uh, when the orchestra went in, we didn't really even know what we could win because uh, it just wasn't something we knew much about. But all the orchestras, orchestras and bands that go in, they choose two or three of the most outstanding musicians in those groups. And one of our musicians, one outstanding instrumentalist out of about 600 students, and that's Holden Oyoung. And the clock just came today. You know, 
like me to just beat you up or something? <laughs> has to thank his mom. And I'm uh, just kidding. Uh, so uh, anyway, uh, also I think that we did forget one student, uh, not in, in Little Wit, and that's Edward Tang. He plays piano in the choir, he sings in the choir, he plays piano in the orchestra, he plays percussion in, in the orchestra, he learned how to play timpani, and uh, we didn't have a moment to recognize him. But now we're going to recognize both Holden and Edward because instead of the, the song that the grade trials are going to sing, they are going to play, uh, we kind of chopped it up a little bit so it wouldn't be too long, but the first movement of Clarinet Sonata by Sansa, uh, that's it, but it's going to be Holden and Edward on the piano. I should say, uh, as they're getting ready, that as Ariel mentioned, in orchestra, we do have chamber music, which means that I teach the students the concept of how to play together without a conductor, how to make music together, but I don't stand over them. I give them the ideas, I listen to them, and I coach them. So most of the work is done by the students' own, their own musical abilities. 